Hi everyone, today's little girl tutorial is a three strand half up fishtail braid. So to start off, I'm just wetting the hair down and I'm gonna be putting the hair in a series of ponytails going straight down the child's head. So for my first ponytail, I just put in a nice triangle at the front of the hair and then I'm using brown elastics to hold the hair into place. I will link below where you can get any product that I'm using in this video. Next, I'm going to wet the hair down and use my spray gel to make another small ponytail underneath. These ponytails are what we're going to use to make our three strand braid, but I like to do all the ponytails first so that I get that out of the way. Once I put in a ponytail, I'm just going to clip it up out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way when I'm doing the next ponytail down. And as you can see, I'm just really trying to concentrate on making nice even part lines as I'm pulling the hair in. Now that I have all my braids in place, I'm going to pull down all of the ponytails to get started on my braid. So I'm just wetting the hair down, slicking it down, getting any flyaways put in place. Next, I'm going to divide the top ponytail into three sections. The ponytail underneath of that, I'm going to divide into two sections. And I'm going to flip that ponytail up through my top ponytail. So those two sections are going to go on either side of the middle section. So then I'm gonna have my three sections from that top ponytail, and I'm gonna hold them down to the next ponytail underneath and attach them with another elastic. From there, I'm gonna take down my two strands and I'm left with these three strands and I'm just going to simply pancake them out by gently tugging at the edges of them. And then I'm gonna repeat those same steps. So I have two strands right now, but I need to make those into three strands. So I'm wetting the hair down. So my two strands right here, I'm going to section off into three strands. And then the ponytail on the bottom is going to be my two strands. So I'm going to pull up two strands in between my three strands. The two strands are going to be clipped out of the way. And then my three strands, I will pull in place and attach them to the next ponytail down with another elastic. I'll let down the two strands and I will again pancake the edges of the three strands that I attached. Now I don't, I don't have any more ponytails to attach it to, so now I'm just going to have to create my own ponytail. So to do that, I'm going to do my three strands again, and then take the bottom ponytail, pull up two strands, and then I'm gonna clip the two strands out of the way. Now with my three strands, since I don't have anything to attach them to, I'm just going to create a little ponytail. So just grab your three strands and put it into an elastic. And do the same steps as far as pancaking it out. 
Now, if you were doing a three strand braid all the way down, you would just keep going with these steps. But since we're doing something a little bit different, I'm gonna take my two strands that I have and I'm going to use these two strands and create a fishtail braid. I'm not touching the ponytail underneath. So I'm just gonna comb out and make these nice and ready for a fishtail. So fishtail braid, I'm just going to take strands from the outer edge and cross them over into the strand on the opposite side. So I'm taking a strand and crossing it over to the other side. When I'm doing a fishtail braid, you wanna pull tight as you're going down so it holds nice and in place. And the other thing you wanna remember about a fishtail braid is you want to take sections of hair that are about the same size. And this will give you a nice consistent look all the way down. And you also want to take small sections. I find that the smaller the sections, the more intricate this braid will look. So I'm not going to braid all the way down. I'm probably only going to braid about halfway down um, before I put in my elastic. And another trick when you're putting in your elastic is you want to put it up maybe a inch or two higher than where you finished your fishtail braid because your fishtail braid kind of is at a diagonal and if you put it down at the very bottom where you're holding, it won't hold it all in place. Next, I'm just going to finish this off with some loose curls in my daughter's hair. So I have my Tot Tools one inch curling iron and I'm just going to wrap the hair around gently and then pull it out. I'm not using any of the clips. I just wrap it around and I like to curl away from her face. And that's all we do for our style. I really hope you guys like this three strand half up style. I really enjoyed how this turned out. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel by hitting the red button below. We post new tutorials each week.